What's going on everybody? Lucas Decker here. In this video, I'll be showing you my first throw and giving you my first impressions on the Yo-Yo Factory Checkpoint Pivot. And with that said, we're not wasting any more time. Let's get started. All right, everyone, I've got the checkpoint pivot right here. The width of this yo-yo seems pretty standard. Most yo-yos these days, especially competition yo-yos, are so wide that something like this almost feels kind of thin when you hold it. It's kind of a hybrid between a V and an A shape. And then, of course, the cup of this yo-yo features a finger spin dimple. And I'm assuming that the plastic inside the cup here is Delrin. And just by the way it feels by placing it on my finger, I can already tell that this thing is going to be a finger spin beast. Let's string it up and find out. There we go. Now for those wondering, I'm using Kitty XL string. All right, first throw on the checkpoint pivot in three, two, one. Is the bearing supposed to be that loud? I mean, it's unresponsive, so I guess so. Feels a lot more powerful than I thought it would. A little bit more heavier than I thought as well. Yeah, definitely heavier than I was expecting, but I'm kind of digging the weight of this yo-yo. If I put this on like a light heavy scale, it's like just perfect, but just a tad bit more on the heavier side. I can't really tell where the weight is distributed. It kind of just feels like all one solid piece, if you know what I mean. It feels good on the string though. It seems to retain its spin power pretty well. I feel like this is just a really good all around intermediate yo-yo. I think if it had a slightly wider gap, it would be better for whips and slacks. All right, so rejections feel pretty okay as well. They're a tad bit more difficult to pull off on this yo-yo just because its walls are a bit higher and narrower. I think the bearing is kind of starting to lock up. Yeah. I'm gonna throw some lubricant in the bearing to see if that fixes it. All right, everybody, we're back. The bearing is no longer locked up and this yo-yo now runs and sounds much smoother. So right out of the box, binds feel pretty good. They feel pretty tight and secure, but they're not really snappy, they're more soft. I think the response pads need to uh, break in a little more because some binds are kind of slipping a little bit here. Now before I say anything more about this yo-yo, we need to test out its finger spin capabilities. Nice locks right in there. Dang, that's pretty good. The yo-yo has a bit of vibe, so that may have been slowing it down a bit. Let's try that again though. All right, there we go. We got a bit more centered there. But yeah, I mean, even with, you know, a little bit of vibe, this thing is cruising. Dude, that was nice. All right, everyone, so to sum it all up on the checkpoint pivot, obviously one of the biggest highlights is going to be the finger spin dimple. Your finger just locks in there and the yo-yo just cruises. Definitely one of the best yo-yos out there for learning the DNA trick. And speaking of learning, I think this yo-yo is a really good, solid choice for intermediate players. Be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions on the checkpoint pivot in the comments below. And that's gonna put a wrap on this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll be talking to you very soon.